Welcome. Theo and I really appreciate you taking the time with us today so that we can share our views on how we continue down this journey towards nobody gets hurt. We know we're fortunate to work for a company that puts our safety above any other objective. A company that provides us with the best tools, the best procedures, and most importantly, time. Time to execute every task safely. Whether you're working in an office environment or whether you're working at one of our field locations where we know the risks are higher. Now I'd really like to thank you because over the past year you've really upped your game and helped improve our safety performance. You've especially helped focus on eliminating serious incidents and moving us down our path, down our journey to the point where nobody is going to get hurt. But we aren't satisfied with our performance as we're still getting people hurt and even seriously hurt. Even one life-altering incident is unacceptable. For 2016, to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt, we need to do a couple of simple things. First, we need to learn effectively from incidents, especially those with high potential, and translate those learnings into action. Take the time to plan your work and follow our work management processes. They're world class, especially for life-saving actions. And lastly, actively care and look out for each other. This is a challenging time for our industry with lots of scope for distractions, but we can't allow these distractions to cause us to be inattentive to the work that we're conducting. Distractions can have severe consequences. You may be watching this video in Indonesia, Australia, in Europe, on an offshore platform of one of our plants around the world. And it's because of the global strength of our business that we have the opportunity to, to learn. Learning from incidents is a key area that we must get better at. At Curl, they're taking all the global learnings and using them within their work teams to really change their behaviors, to make sure that they take different actions so that they don't repeat some of the mistakes that have occurred elsewhere. There's really two or three areas that we must get better at. Really identifying those risks that have higher potential for hurt, for severe hurt, that if we don't undertake these activities in the right way, can result in a life-changing incident. You've heard them called life-saving actions, and many of you will have cards like this that identify the types of activities whether it's working at heights, breaking containment, or in a site here, like Curl, working with large mobile equipment and rotating equipment. The work management system is designed to ensure we can execute the most complex of tasks in a safe manner. But it only works if we use it. And it's a must do that we use that system. It's not a nice to have, it's not something the company asks you to do. It's something the company expects you to use and follow at all times. If we deviate or fail to execute this work management system in a consistent basis, we expose ourselves and others to increased risk. Obviously, if you can't or won't follow our work management requirements and life-saving actions, you can't work for ExxonMobil. So as we perform our work, especially higher risk work, we have to maintain a high standard of safety performance and excellence in execution of the task at hand. We can't allow erosion of our safety standards. No matter where you work, we must each apply our principles of actively caring when we see at-risk behavior. We are one family. Actively caring and looking out for each other is a moral imperative and a key expectation of each person around the globe. You must intervene. If you see something, say something. We know it's hard to do. We know with different languages, different cultures, it can be difficult, but it could save a life. It's our obligation to ensure that everybody 
stays in the same condition they arrived and goes home in that condition. Your families and friends expect that. We expect it and together we can achieve that. I'm looking forward to an exciting new year, but I'd like to have, leave with you a couple of things that you might just keep in mind. Make safe choices, engage those around you, look for their support, they really do care about you. Emphasize individual responsibility and overall team accountability. Again, we are one family. Recognize when things change, stop and adjust. This is an imperative. And lastly, I'll leave with you, continue to eliminate all serious incidents, whether on the personnel front or on the process front. Let's make 2016 our safest year ever. That was a very inspirational and thought-provoking video from Tom and Hugh and the production company. Thinking more broadly about our ExxonMobil affiliate, 2015 was a tremendous year for us. We saw a transition away from the decades-long operations in Aceh to a new beginning in the Chepu block with the startup of the Banya Europe project. Elsewhere in our affiliate, we continue to grow our downstream business. And even in these challenging business times, we have tremendous opportunities. We can be profitable and contribute greatly to our company's success here in Indonesia. So we think about Safe Start in 2016. We're the team that's going to set the culture for our new CPO organization. And we have that opportunity here in the first year of operations to set ourselves up to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt. So as you think about your personal commitment to safety and the commitment of your team to safety this year, please reflect on what you can do to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt. 2015 was a successful year ultimately for the Banyu Euro project, but not a complete success. We had significant safety incidents during the course of the year. We've learned from those and we're hoping to build on that so we go through 2016 without anybody else getting hurt. As we move into the next phase of this project, we're working very closely with production to make sure that we complete this facility safely and as quickly as we can. Please make sure everybody goes home safe this year. As we look over 2015, we made a great success of Nobody Gets Hurt. It's not a slogan, it's real. Nobody in drilling family gets hurt in 2015. We want to continue our success in 2016. We have to avoid complacency. We need to continue to nurture our culture of caring and our culture of procedural discipline. Now what I'm really pleased to say is when I visited the site over the last couple of weeks during the startup process of Banyu Europe and Train A, what's been just tremendous is the focus on work management compliance and also just taking the time to follow procedures which is absolutely fundamental in how we do our activities at the field. You know, if we're going to achieve our vision of nobody gets hurt, it's going to take all of us to really focus on full compliance, supporting each other, taking time to care for one another, and just making sure that we look out and intervene where things just don't look the way they're meant to look. Keselamatan bekerja adalah sebuah perjalanan di mana dari tahun ke tahun harus kita tingkatkan. Dan dalam 2015 ini kita bisa mencapainya. Dan harapan saya untuk ke 2016 kita Terus tingkatkan keselamatan kerja dalam fasilitas yang kita miliki. Keselamatan kita adalah kebahagiaan keluarga kita dan teman-teman sekitar kita. Tahun 2015 kita telah melewati tahun yang aman, selamat, dan dengan partisipasi semua pekerja, saling menjaga, bekerja dalam satu tim, satu keluarga. Tentunya kita akan menggunakan hal-hal yang baik ini, kita bawa ke 2016, sehingga tahun 2016 kita akan mempunyai performance yang lebih bagus lagi di dalam keselamatan, keamanan, produktivitas maupun efektivitas kerja. Keselamatan di tempat kerja mencakup kantor tempat kita bekerja sehari-hari dan juga tempat-tempat yang kita kunjungi berkaitan dengan pekerjaan. Jadi dimanapun kita bekerja, tujuan keselamatan kita tetap sama, nobody gets hurt. 
Kita bertanggung jawab untuk selalu memperhatikan secara aktif keselamatan kita sendiri dan juga rekan kerja. Tempat bekerja ergonomis dan melakukan ergonomi breaks juga sangat penting untuk kesehatan jangka panjang kita. Memperhatikan keselamatan kerja secara aktif berarti kita melakukan intervensi langsung jika kita melihat situasi yang tidak ergonomis atau tanda-tanda stres dan kelelahan pada rekan kerja Anda. Seperti halnya di lapangan dan fasilitas operasi, di kantor pun kita harus selalu memastikan keselamatan kerja as our safety journey never ends. Tujuh tahun bergabung dengan Exxon Mobil, banyak ilmu yang saya dapatkan mengenai keselamatan kerja. Salah satu contohnya menerapkan SPSE dalam kehidupan sehari-hari, Safe Performance Self-Assessment, eh, analisa dini untuk keselamatan diri. Nah, dengan ilmu dan training yang saya dapatkan di Exxon Mobil ini, meningkatkan kewaspadaan diri saya terhadap bahaya yang akan dihadapi di dalam kegiatan sehari-hari. At Exxon Mobil Indonesia, we're one family and we were working together to deliver our vision of nobody gets hurt. So as you think about what you've heard today and how you're going to address your safety and the safety of your team in 2016, I ask that each of you and each of us work together focusing on the task at hand, intervening when things are not right, stopping when we don't understand if we can proceed safely or not, and taking that personal commitment to ourselves and to our co-workers to set a culture of safety that will last for decades. Thank you very much for your attention to this most important objective of our affiliate. One team. One family. Working together. <laughs>